Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we have a 2018 Subaru Crosstrek. We've been test fitting some bike racks on it. Right now we have the QI NV 2.0 installed. This is going to be available in three colors. Right now we have the gunmetal gray installed. You see it's got a nice look. And with the color of our Subaru, it kind of matches really well with the orange trimming on it. Now obviously not every Crosstrek is going to be the same color, so if you think the other two might suit your color scheme better. The other two colors are gonna be metallic black and matte black. So if that interests you, just check it out on our website. Now with this bike rack, it's gonna be a platform style rack. It's gonna allow you to get two bikes loaded so you can get them to and from your destination. Each bike is secured at two different points. We have a strap on our back wheel. That's one point, making sure our back wheel doesn't really move at all on the platform. Then we're gonna have a wheel hook putting downward force on top of our front wheel, making sure it stays secure in our cradle. This is really just a high quality bike rack. It's got a great hold of our bikes. What's really cool about it is that we can tilt it away to gain access to the trunk. And compared to a lot of other platform style racks, I personally think the tilt away feature on this is the easiest to use. There's no pins you gotta pull or anything like that. We're just going to pull this handle down here. And once we pull that, we can just tilt it away. And you will be able to do this with two bikes loaded. You can see plenty of clearance between the hatch and the bike. And I can slide in, grab whatever cargo I might need out of the back, maybe a lunch or two, some biking gear, whatever you need. To tilt it back up, make sure you grab a hold of the bike rack itself and not the bikes installed. Just bring it up so you hear it lock into place like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove our bike so we can have a closer look at the rack. It's pretty easy to do. Just push that tab and pull the strap all the way out. And then up here, grab a hold of your bike, push the button on top of the hook, bring it all the way up and fold it down, and then we can unload our bike. Now when you're all done unloading your bike, it's always a good idea to go ahead and just kind of clean everything up. Replace your strap, bring your hook to the other side. Now, now with any hitch mounted accessory, you are gonna have added length to your vehicle. In the case of our Crosstrek, we'll measure from the bumper to the outermost point. It's gonna be about 32 and a half inches added onto the back of our vehicle. Now we can cut down on that space by folding this up to the vehicle. We're just gonna pull this handle right here, fold it up until it locks into place. Let's measure again from the bumper to the outermost point. We're down to about 15 and three quarters of an inch. So we've taken away a good amount of that space. You wanna keep this in mind for any close quarter situations, maybe parking in your garage. If you fold that up and be able to close your garage door, it's, not, it's a really nice feature so you don't have to remove your bike rack to close your garage door. Now let's come down and see how it attaches to our hitch. We're gonna have a two inch by two inch hitch receiver on our Subaru. This is what this bike rack is gonna be compatible for. We can have a lock on the other side of our pin. That's a nice security feature so that no one can remove that without the key. Now the anti-rattle system starts back here. This is a knob that we turn. We just tighten it up. And it's going to activate the system that's on the inside of our shank. Basically all it is is a ball that comes out and wedges the shank inside the hitch receiver to make sure it takes away that shake and play. You can see I'm moving the entire bike rack and vehicle. And there's really no rattling. Well, I hope this information helped you out, but that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Kuwa NV 2.0 on our 2018 Subaru Crosstrack. First, we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side-to-side -side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.